Welcome back to Cottage Tranquility and thank you for joining me. Today, this episode is a couple of days of uh, garden explorations during September. So here we are, I've collected a wheelbarrow of apples, rotting apples and windfall apples that have fallen. Just trying to sort of clear a path through here, try and keep that clear and try and collect up some rotten ones, dissuade some of the wasps from this area so that I can work on it. Um, as you see there's Bern enjoying the farm life and I'm going to take these apples over to the compost heap so whatever animals want them can enjoy them over there. There's my ever faithful assistant, Bern Pie. There we go. Let's look back at the cottage. More washing out already. And it's just so peaceful here. So lovely. Here's my little lion. Hello, Ben. a good boy. So here I am inside and so are all the apples that I rescued and now they need washing, chopping, um, peeling and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, well I know ultimately what I want to do, I want to make some apple pies, I want to do this that and the other with them. I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to wash them and stick them in the glass root bowl um, and then I'm going to do them bit by bit and see what happens. Hopefully some will get frozen so that I can do stuff with them later. Apparently somebody would like to come in, don't know if you can hear that. Hello Aslan, would you like to come in? Do come in, sir. Is there a burn with you? No, nope, no sign of his lordship. Epic skies out here as always. Although not quite as epic as the night skies when there's no clouds. Oh my God, I have never seen so many stars. And look at that, just shows you the difference in there. And there, so dramatic around here. <laughs> and then back again, more blue. There we are. Anyway, back to the apples for me. So, the other day, I spotted some tomet tiles which are like basically square terracotta tiles in my garden in the front garden and i then spotted another one near the front of the path so i've decided today to try and dig off the top layer of moss here and see what i can find as you can see so far we have spaced out tomet tiles creating some sort of path. Um, I'll probably dig them all up and create a um, tomet tile path all the way to the front door because I wanted to do a brick path anyway. So this looks like a perfect solution and looks like I might already have some of the materials. So here we are and I'll show you it again when I found some more. So here's some footage of me uh, Clearing and cleaning up the pathway as I went along and digging and uh, uncovering it and uh, yeah just thought this was interesting and amusing at the same time. Uh, apologies for it being in portrait uh, 
as we get uh, used to filming, uh, it becomes more of a landscape for you. But, uh, yeah, this was a particularly hot day in uh, September, and uh, yeah, for some random reason, I decided it was a good idea to start digging up the path. So hard work is very unflattering. I'm very pink in the face. It's quite hot here today again. Uh, it's a lot cooler though than it has been, so that's why I'm sort of giving this a little bit of a, a go. So um, yeah, working on it. We will get there, just sitting down and uh, enjoying a cup of tea. And uh, then I will get back to it. That's coming along. But this space at the moment, it's just all covered in moss and dirt. Oh, there's minnow. And so the idea is put through a brick windy path. Probably going to take out these beds. Um, I want to keep the lavender. Plan to keep adding lavender in there. And uh, then just put in sort of a cottage garden this side and that's where the driveway is so I plan on putting growing hedgerow across there um, with the gateway through it just to make it a little bit more private and then I can have like a nice little table and chairs out here at some point and just sit and relax at the moment we've just got rubble and things that we're finding massive bits of rock um, and old bits of bric-a-brac and all sorts so that's the plan for the moment so uncover what we can plant what we can repair what we can and take it from there after a really hard day of grafting for me anyway getting a few blisters along the way Oh, and here comes our very first visitor down the path. Hello, Minnow. Do you like the pathway? As you can see, there are some tiles that are missing. Um, and yes, I do have rather a lot of clearing up to do still. But my green sack is full. So I shall endeavour to sort that out. Tidy up the path and the garden. And uh, yeah, I need to... We need to procure some more tiles. No, Minnow, you, you don't live here, darling. And this is our usual problem we have with Minnow. Minnow does love to try and get into the house. But yeah, so I've got one or two tiles and lots of broken fragments around here. But uh, yeah, I think there might be some more interesting hidden treasures in the garden beds as well. So... Who knows what we'll, we'll uncover, but for now, we are about 12 atomic tiles down, plus some broken ones along the way. But I don't know, I don't know that I don't mind those, actually, um, for outside. You know, it, gets, it adds a bit of character and a bit of age to it all. But uh, these are lovely Charant Tile Co. tiles. I shall... Uh, show you some of the design there was one along here that was unseated so oh let's have a quick look so yes Charente Perrault Charente Perrault sont des font Ah, so Fontafi is just down the road here. It's one of the villages or small towns just down the road. So, locally made. Anyway, for now, we shall try and bed that back in a little. So it's not a complete danger to anyone walking on it apart from me now. And yes, we'll endeavour to get some more and create a full path. 
So today is another scorcher of a day here in the Charente. Super hot. So staying with my north facing window open and everything else is all shuttered up. And I am going to be doing a nice day of admin. So catching up with everything that I need. Got myself a coffee, frothy coffee ready. And I need to go through my post, junk mail, but there may be something that I need in there to purchase for the house, so we have to check through it all. Then go through my books and stacks of things that I need to check through, my ideas, make sure I've got all that sorted. Do the finances on the old laptop. And yeah, hopefully get things straightened out. So yeah, that's my day today, and uh, I'm having a comfy clothes pyjama day. Here we go. <laughs> Me and the pyjamas. So this has just arrived. I've ordered it to go over here, the gateway there, because there's a rose that is beginning to ramble all across the place and needs some help really and I think it would do the wonder of good and look really lovely and sweet being arched over that. So I purchased this the other day as with normal um, in France I was informed it would probably be the longest wait for this item to arrive and uh, probably wasn't going to arrive until the 27th of September. It's currently, I think, about the 6th of September. And it's the first item to arrive. So here we are. So wish me luck as I try and put this together and follow some instructions. We'll see if it really is an easy arch. So far I've got a bag of bits there and a bag of bits there love to show you me putting this together but uh, I don't have enough hands at the moment and I'm still waiting for some camera equipment to come along so I can film properly. So here we are again it's about seven o'clock in the evening now something like that and I have managed to put the arch together and pop it in place and wound some of the rows around it Still need to do some pruning out here, just to cut it back a bit. And also the hedge needs a bit of a trim as well. Haven't done that yet. So we'll just give that all a bit of a prune. And hopefully that'll be before the rain goes mad as autumn starts to turn up. And that'll keep that in place. Quite happy with that. Don't know if you can actually see it. Let's. Uh, there we go. Needs knocking down probably a little bit more into the ground. But I need to go and get a rubber mallet or something. As uh, whacking it with a piece of wood and a claw hammer. Probably it wasn't the most sensible idea. And uh, I tried to use the wood to block the claw hammer, so as it wouldn't damage the metal. But I didn't get too far with knocking it into the ground, so I think a decent rubber mallet will do the trick. So that's next on the purchase list. Thank you for joining me. If you've enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe.